Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Welcome to Rick's Corner. The man, the myth, the legend. Now on with the show. But these things happen, and then we had the missing link. Do you remember the missing oh, link? Sure. David Carter. How he's still missing? Yeah, he's missing in action. This guy would come in the gym, no shirt, no shoes, uh, and he'd talk like this, like he was out of breath. Mm -hmm. And he'd go and he'd put 400 pounds on the bar and squat cold. Right. Yeah. No problem. Unbelievable. No problem. Right. And and I went up to his apartment one day. He lived behind the gym, and he's cooking chicken in a pan with a lid. And it's the whole chicken, the bones, it's all white and pasty looking, kind of blue like it was bruised. And he starts eating it, and he's crumbling. Bone marrow is good for you. You'll have to eat the whole chicken. And that's he ate the whole damn thing. Well, he sounded well, that's that one. Down to a <laughs> and the thing is, the guy would drink at the fountain, and the, the fountain would smell reek of garlic for about three hours. Oh, and my you'd, God. It would just, like, burn your nostril hairs off when you take a drink out of well, the Well, I, I know he'd come in, and he'd challenge Arnold to squats, and he'd get put that 400 and just, just start going up and down, and everybody kind of laughed at him, but I don't think he felt pain. And then I saw him riding his motorcycle on the freeway, the same outfit, just the shorts, no shirt, no <laughs> shoes, and he was missing a peg on the right-hand side of the motorcycle at 60 miles an hour, and his foot's hitting the pavement and is flying up every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. But I don't know. I, I think he actually had a girlfriend, too. I don't know. God knows where he found her. But I don't think that guy... I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if he I had any kind of... I zoo one day. <laughs> I don't think he had any kind of a set diet other than eating the chicken and the bones. But those days were fun. Hey, they were fantastic, Rick. I mean, if I had a time machine, and I always tell a lot of people, I wish I had a time machine to take you guys back and you'd see really what bodybuilding was all about at the Great Goals Gym in, in Venice. It was fantastic, man. There's a different camaraderie that we had that yeah. you don't see today. No, you don't. You yeah. don't see it. You know, there were egos, but they weren't out of hand where, where people hated each other. We just all got along well, hang out down to the beach and have a good time. Yeah. Um, I got a good story for you if you want to hear this. Let's uh, hear this. This is a story. One time, Bill Graham. That's a really good one. Now, <laughs> no, sorry, go ahead. Me, me, Bill, and Arnold decided that uh, in I think it was in mid early, mid seventies, yes. uh, Venice Beach for a while actually became a nude beach. Started with a couple of gay people, and then it spread to so-called straights. Right. And everyone was walking around naked on the beach. So Arnold, we were all training at Golds one day, and Arnold says to me and Bill Graham, "Do you want to go? Let's go down to the nude beach." So we go down to the nude beach. You know, Arnold, being of European origin, strips right down naked, yeah. you know? So th there's two things that happened that I still remember. And first of all, Bill Grant and I, even though we were in both, in, we were in good shape, but we were both uh, for shy, so we stayed in our underwear where Arnold went completely naked. Arnold's lying there, and all of a sudden I see this guy kind of adjusting a camera. Now remember, Arnold was only a bodybuilder. He wasn't the famous right. movie right, star. Right, he, right, But he was, this was two weeks before the Olympia. He was in tremendous shape. And he, this the, 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 the kind of quirk about nude beaches is that most of the people were really out of shape. Right. So a guy with a physique stood out like he was from Mars. Absolutely you know? stood out. So this guy's adjusting his camera to to to, uh, to take a picture of Arnold, and I nudged Arnold. I said, hey, Arnold, that guy looks like he's going to take a picture of you. So Arnold was kind of dozing off. He sits up, and he says, where's this? I said, over there. And Arnold, if you, if you remember that walk he did in the Terminator, yeah. gets up completely naked, walks in front of the guy, stands above him, everything hanging out. The guy and his wife, their eyes are as wide as saucers by now, because Arnold's standing right above. He says, if you take my picture, I'm going to have to take the camera out. I'm going to have to destroy the comma and remove the film. Then he comes back and sits next to me, leans back, and he says, Jerry, you know, this is a good thing. I said, what's that, Arnold? He says, the fact is that they have these naked guy, uh, girls here. He says, this is good for a guy who never had sex. He could see what a naked girl looks like. I, I remember his exact <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, but, then, but then you got to remember Remember, he started taking the pictures again, and we said, oh, man, he's doing the pictures. Ah, uh, he says, let's go over, guys. Yeah, yeah. So we go over there, and he says, what are you doing? He says, I told you, no more pictures. Give me the camera. He took the camera. Mm -hmm. He opened up the back. It was a brand-new Nikon camera. Remember, Nikon was the best brand right. back then. He took the film out, threw it in the sand, and he took the camera, threw it in the sand, and... <laughs> Grinded it in. I said, oh, I guess that camera's dead. It was absolutely hilarious. Jerry and I were just laughing our butts off. But now, can you imagine if that guy had those pictures today? No, how much money God. he would make? My God. Wow. Did, did, did any of you guys think back then that Arnold would become an actor? 
I actually had, had a dialogue with Arnold about that famous. Uh, uh, there's two things that, that I could say. Two quick stories. I met Arnold about a week after he got arrived in the United States, and we were training together at Vince's gym in Studio City, which no longer exists. And I got friendly with him right off the bat. We were walking down Venice Boulevard, and he, Bill Grant likes to tell the story. And Arnold turned to me at that time. The big muscle movie star was a guy named Steve Reeves, who was a Mr. America in 1947 and Hercules in the movies. And Arnold said to me out of nowhere, he says, "You know how? You know how when they say the word when they." mentioned muscles they always say muscles like steve reeves i said yeah arnold he said one day everything is going to be muscles like arnold schwarzenegger furthermore i'm going to be a, a bigger movie star than steve reeves is and i'm going to go win the mr universe and mr olympia about six or seven times this is in 1969 or 68 actually told me this yeah. and I never forgot that and later on when Arnold started to break in the movies I, I remember saying to him I said well Arnold I said uh, I, I mean as a friend I gotta tell you don't really put all your hopes in being a movie star you're a big guy you got that thick accent you'll just be, be you'll be these background guys these leg breakers that's about as far as you'll yeah. get yeah. and you know if you know anything you know Arnold we all know Arnold very well Arnold never took no for an answer you know and l later on I happened to be an extra in a movie called Death Race 2000 the first one, yeah. and I, I got in a similar dialogue with a then unknown actor on the set, and this guy had a facial deformity. He kind of talked out of the side of his face. And he had, you know, he was acting like a tough guy. And I said to him, I said, you know, I said, do you have other work on the side? You know, I was trying to hint to him, don't try and be an actor. That guy was Sylvester Stallone. So I told both I Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. I told both Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone that they had no chance to make it in the movies. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's why they never use it you in any of the films. <laughs> and we and we still laugh about that story. <laughs> Jerry. Yeah. Well, I went on one with him uh, to read for some sort of a Hercules thing after he had done, I don't think he had done Hercules in art. Maybe he did. And he says, there might be something for you in there. And we go and we read and we get in the car. He says, what do you think? I said, it's horrible. Don't ever think about acting. You're never going to make it. <laughs> and we went to Zookies. And now uh, look where it, where it is today. My it's, God. Because I went on Fox News. Remember when Arnold was getting elected? You know, he was having the groping problem. Yeah. I got a phone call. Oh, from, that's right. Yeah. And I got a phone call from his, uh, from his press guy. And, uh, he says, um, you know, I, you know why I'm calling? I says, no. He says, well, you know that problem that uh, Arnold has uh, with the groping? I says, yeah, what do you want me to do? He says, well, Maria told me to call you, and you wouldn't know what to do. How the hell would I know what to do? But I think they already knew. I had some connections in the news media <clears throat> with um, you know, Fox News, and uh, it was incredible. I went on there, and I, I told that story about, you know, the groping thing, but... I tried to humanize him a little, you know, just you know, saying where he came from, because I met Arnold back in 1969, yeah, but you know what? the year after. We're all guys. Guys do right. stuff, and, and that's just the way life is. But he was human. But you know what? It's amazing, because when we were on Muscle Beach, didn't girls, like, grope us, grab our pets, yes. feel our Constantly. Pets? I used to go out with him to the marina on the weekends, and he'd lift my shirt and say, look at Rick's abs, and all these girls would be all over touching and doing this, and I never felt offended by it. And, Neither you know, did I. So, I, uh, I got $10 for it, for God's sake. <laughs> and I went out to eat after that. But that's that's the way it was. I mean, we were bodybuilders. Everybody wanted to touch us. Yeah. You have a book yeah. out now. Yeah, it's Natural Anabolics. Yeah. Know? And basically, it's a, uh, it's a compilation of, of uh, the research on all the popular bodybuilding supplements, which ones work which ones don't you know and, and uh, have a couple of unique things in there have a diet schedule and stuff kind of tells the truth there's no so, uh, and where can you get the book you can get the book at my uh, website my book uh, it's called jerrybrainum.com jerrybrainum.com b-r-a-i-n-u-m right. dot com right yeah, and they can order direct. They can order direct right there. Yeah. Wow, this is good. This is good info. This guy knows. I mean, he knows diet. He knows exercise. He knows what all the combinations that work to make you a champion. And it's worth a read. I listen to everything he tells me. I try to memorize it all, but I can only get about three of those big words down. <laughs> and and so you have nutrition as well. Uh, it's called Bill Grant Nutrition, the Creatine Cocktail. And thanks to Jerry who formulated. I I told Jerry. I said, you know, there's a lot of supplements out there in the market, and I think Jerry can concur on this too. the video brought to you by Old School Labs. Use my discount code Grayson12 on the link below at OldSchoolLabs.com. Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Grayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me 
to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrazen.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.